So a couple of videos ago when we looked at defining the significance level, I spoke about the critical region. So the idea is that if you have a, let's say, 10% significance level, then there is this region at the tail of your data, of your uh, distribution, there is 10%. Okay? Now, what we refer to is that this value here, okay, that value that is on the boundary, we refer to that as the critical value. Okay? And this region here is the critical region. So if um, your, what you find and what you observe is a value that is in the critical region, then you can reject the null hypothesis. If instead it is a value that is outside of the critical region, in this region over here, that we refer to as the acceptance region, then you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay? Um, so you'll only reject the null hypothesis when it is in that 10% uh, critical region. Okay? Now, um, the, if you are looking at a discrete distribution, so we work um, with uh, a couple of different types of hypothesis test here. So uh, the really first one that we meet is the binomial uh, probability, uh, pro binomial hypothesis test, rather, uh, that we look at in the next section. But before we do that, we're going to be looking at um, uh, one for the product moment correlation coefficient in this section in a couple of videos' time. Um, and it is really key for this uh, to understand this kind of idea and this method and seeing it visually. So for that, you're, looking, you're working with continuous data. And that, therefore, makes sense. If, however, you're looking with discrete values like the binomial, then the problem with that is the discrete one will separate into discrete values. Okay, so maybe something like that. And what you then find is that, okay, maybe this represents, I don't know what we've got, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so maybe we've got uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are in the critical region. So we may have a critical region that's equal to 9, 10, 11, and 12. So if you observe any of those four numbers, they are in the critical region, and so you'll be able to reject the null hypothesis. Okay? Now, the actual significance level, so the actual percentage that you would need uh, to reject the null hypothesis, is actually the probability of x being greater than or equal to 9, not the 10% that we have there. Okay, so it's actually from this value onwards. So whatever that percentage is onwards, that would be the actual significance level. The 10% level has just been set arbitrarily. And because of the uh, binomial distribution that you've set up, that's the figure you work with and compare values against. But the actual significance level would be from that that region there from that percentage onwards. So it will likely, it will be less than the 10% uh, that is set in the question. Now, some uh, boards may ask for that, some may not, okay? Um, so uh, thinking back to the example to question, um, OCR MEI certainly uh, uh, will not be asking for that distinction between the significance levels, between the significance levels set uh, 
and the actual significance level. Really what you want to make sure on uh, and have a look through is the specification for the board you're doing just to see if there is that distinction. And it will probably come through in uh, textbooks that you buy uh, that are specifically for that, for that board. Okay, um, So just be aware of that, um, uh, especially if you're doing uh, Edexcel, uh, OCR, or AQA.